What's up, y'all? Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. So today I'm gonna have a series of videos coming out for y'all, but right now YouTube is hating on me and making my videos yellow. Y'all know how that go. So for those that don't know, that is the reason why I have Patreon. Patreon is created because for those that don't want to wait, they already got the video, literally. A two-hour interview. It's a great interview. Y'all make sure y'all tap in. The link will be in the pinned comment if you want to tap in. If you do not, that's fine. Um, so right now, if I can, if YouTube allows me to, I'm going to um, give y'all these receipts Danny gave me last night on basically defending herself about her business partner insinuating that um, she was she took all the money out of the bank account. Now, I was asking the questions that a lot of interviewers were not asking. Uh, no disrespect to the interviewers as if they weren't asking good questions. What I'm saying is I just wanted to get in a little more into detail about what was going on so we could have a better understanding of what is going on. You know what I'm saying? And quite frankly, I wanted to know a lot. I really don't believe the cash apps. I still don't believe it. <laughs> um, the cash app situation, the uh, co-worker situation, the, her, her business partner, that situation, like why is the money out of the account, Danny? You know what I'm saying? And she explained that. And this is what, it, these are the main receipts that she explained a lot of things Danny definitely has already said that she proved, which she did. Um, the reason why she, we ended up even getting in contact because she was like, um, she didn't like what I had on my video posted about her and DC Youngfly because I said that they did to do, which was, I said alleged, you know what I'm saying? But uh, she felt as though that was a little too much, which was fine. So I, you know, changed the title respectfully because it was a reach. But you know what I'm saying? Like I told her, <laughs> it's back season. But... I'm just letting y'all know that's why the interview started off like that. And um, yeah, so let me get y'all these receipts. Hit the Patreon link if you want to watch the full video in its entirety before I put it on YouTube. I can't put it on YouTube yet because they hating on me. All right, let's get into these receipts, though. This is her business partner. So here's my thing. My thing is... <laughs> You made it seem like when you was, Hello? when you was, I ain't know if you can hear me or not, but you made it seem like when y'all was, you and Brittany was on the phone with Sherelle, you made it seem like I took the money out the account, like I'm trying to X you out the partnership, and I'm like, this girl, no, we just changed banks, and I tried to wire the money to you so you can go get the cashier, but you didn't know your wire number. So on the interview, uh, well, not the interview, on the recording that um, Sherelle did, um, she basically was saying that she took all the money out of the business account. She didn't say why. Right. So Danny did a actually prove the fact that she, um, they had to switch accounts. She did ask her for her wire number to send her the money. She did. She posted it on her Instagram yesterday, everything going off her Instagram. So I don't have it, but, um, if for those that already seen it, you know, it's there. Uh, she basically was like, you know, what's your wire number? So I can send you this money. She didn't have the wire number. So she did it. She put it in her own. She took it out her personal bank account to put it in the new, uh, said business account. And we had to do it before two o'clock. So I wired the and she sent her, her money back money to myself, but on Sharia live, the you business made it money, seem like I was trying to run off <laughs> with some money. No, I'm like, I don't understand why the money never hit the account. But what you told me when I went in the bank, when you, you claimed that you, you paid out of your personal account, this and that, we all have did that. If we don't have enough money in, in the account after we done did our split to meet payroll, we both go get money out of our personal account. But what I did, as soon as you paid, made payroll out of your personal account, I went and got $7,500 out of my personal account to put in Peach Cobbler's extra account so I can give you your money back at 12 midnight, right? Yeah, I did. I got my money back Saturday morning. Okay, so when I was at the bank, the pot listen. So, so her argument is, and that's why she was, you know, a little upset. Why you lying, right? Which is what it was for me. But the thing is, the business partner didn't know she was being recorded with the friend and, um, well, Brittany, which is her ex best friend and Sherelle. Sherelle, as a content creator, this is nothing against Sherelle. Sherelle gonna do Sherelle, and I'm gonna do me over here. So this has what I'm saying has not a damn thing to do with Sherelle. Sherelle, do you boo boo? I'm just speaking about um what's going on with the, this business partner. 
listen, when I was at the bank depositing all them checks right that day, we had a check for 7500 that came from my personal account. We had a check for twelve twenty nine, and we had the $12,000 check. You remember the bank said, wait, wait, wait. You remember the bank said if we deposit over $10,000, it was going to be held up seven days? Right? So guess what? Guess what? I deposited my own money in the account of 7500 so it can clear at 12 midnight, right? But you tried to make the things to them like... I went and got all the money out of Peach Cobbler Factory account. Like, I was trying to run off on you. Like, this whole partnership, I've been fair. That's why I was trying to, that's why I was trying to talk to you. Because when you text me back, and I'm like, hold up, you might have to talk. Because the text messages is confusing. Like, no, like, that shit rubbed me the wrong way. Then for you to get on the phone with an op, bro. Let Girl, me I was uh, Danny can't even hear what Shawty's saying because <laughs> she's so upset. Um... So yeah, we couldn't we couldn't get the clear the full clarity of what old girl was saying. She was already mad at the fact though, just she went live with them and was you know being shady. I never do that to you. First of all, I wasn't. I, then I had reached out to you first. I never was on the phone. I was on the phone with Brittany. So Brittany, that put her on now. I don't have to have contact information. I, I don't give a fuck. All right, that shit went right. Like one thing about it, one thing I know, I was a solid ass business partner, bro. Every everything I did was pure. I ain't never try to take no fucking dime from you. Even when you didn't have time to do certain shit. Guess what? I, I get out of my comfort zone to do that shit. Come on now. Me too. I miss lunch. I miss lunch Thursday to make sure we had payroll. Like I but that's what you supposed to do as a partner. Now, according to uh, according to me having a fan base. And, and so so her, uh, Danny's gripe is the... The business partner was lazy. That's her biggest gripe. I'm trying to tell y'all everything before y'all be misunderstood on what's going on. And everybody thinking it's mine in the beginning. I tag you in every post pertaining to Peace Cobbler Factory. If they go down my Facebook page, I announce you as my partner. I don't care about the fans. I don't care about this. I don't care about that. That's outside of the day. I don't, you know, I don't give a fuck. But my thing is, you, 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 re, you got on the phone with an aunt, bro, and tried to make it seem like I'm, I'm trying to take from you, bro. Like, to be honest, I'm the one that make sure everything is intact. Do the split. Let you see all the transactions in account. Okay, all right, we finna do a split today. I'm, I'm finna send this amount of money to your account. This amount of money go to me. When have I ever did some flaw shit in a business? I ain't never did no shit like that. I never told you. I asked you Saturday. I'm like, call me because the text message is confusing. I didn't even know you and Corey was going through all that shit. So Brittany called me yesterday. Guess what? I don't tell my business to nobody. And, and what me and Corey went through half of because of her? <laughs> like, how the fuck you going to encourage Corey to call CPS on Carmen? So that was another thing. Dirty ass shit. You know, I didn't know. Right. And you see, I didn't know nothing about none of that. That's why I'm like, okay, so what else you say? So, I guess that's why the business part, her name is Ari. That's why she was get, trying to get the tea or whatever, because she didn't know nothing about uh, the tea. All right, so this is the next video. I think I did was pure. And I don't know if this is in order or not. I'm just listening. I ain't never tried to take no fucking dime from you, even when you didn't have time to do certain shit. Guess what? I, I get out of my comfort zone to do that shit. Come on now. But that's what you're supposed to do as a partner. That's crazy that that started right there. Now, according to uh, make sure everything is intact, like how the fuck you gonna encourage Corey to call CPS on Carmen? Okay. Come on, that's some dirty ass. You know, I didn't know, right? And you see, I didn't know nothing about none of that. That's why I'm like, okay, so what else you say? Oh, you lazy. You can't be. And you know what? I'm a, I'm a direct ass person. I told you that to your face. I'm like, you need to learn how to, every day you need to wake up, check, check your sales, check um, the labor costs, the product costs. I said, that's what you do as a partner. You can't rely on me to do everything. Because the same stuff that I learned, I want you to learn too. I still was doing stuff. But, but, all right, so look, you said that, right? We, we a partner. No, no, no. No, no, it ain't. It, I'm about to even this shit right here, right quick. 
I know how to do more stuff in that store than you know how to do. So All right, we ain't talking about the stuff in the store. I'm just gonna be honest. Like the stuff in the store is so easy to do. You're talking about the whole overall picture. You see what I'm saying? Me and you partners, right? You yeah. good at what you good at, and I'm good at what I'm good at. I understand like, that. But yeah, listen, the stuff in the store is not the register, the, the back kitchen. You probably know how to make more products than me in the back kitchen because I never wanted to learn how to make the products. I'm just going to. And it sound and, and this is so normal in a business partnership. Somebody is stronger in whatever else. I'm not good with promotion. I, I have learned that about myself over the years. Me and promotion. Nobody. My, my friends don't even be knowing I'm working. They like, yo, I, I, when do you work? <laughs> Every day. But. I put that out on YouTube. I, I go by the protocols of YouTube. I got to upload, put it out, get off is my thing. Okay. I'm, I'm working Twitch, Patreon and YouTube at the same time. So you think I'm thinking about Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. I should be. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like, uh, the partner is stronger on the inside of the job. She's stronger with the operations of the job and the promotion to get them people out there. And I just feel like it was a misunderstanding, but why would Shawty, you know what I'm saying? Talk, you know, pillow talk with anybody about their business, especially if it's not true or if it's a misunderstanding. But when it comes down to the real operations, my biggest issue with you is that you will put everything on somebody else. But me, I'm going to do it myself because I want to make sure it's right. So that's my biggest concern. So as soon as I added Kim to me to run the operation, you basically feel some type of way at first. All right, y'all. So that's what I have of the recording. Uh, one thing I am is fair. And um, I tell y'all that all the time. When you when you doing these reaction videos and you just, you know, chatting, that's what we doing. We just chatting. We don't know what's going on. Um, some people have facts. Some people don't. Either way, I'm going to talk about it. I don't care. So, but if a person has obviously proven that they're being honest or fair about whatever, I'm absolutely going to talk about it. So I appreciate her for sliding me these receipts. Y'all let me know what y'all, um, how y'all feel about it. If y'all think Danny's telling the truth or if you think she's lying. If you would like the full interview in its entirety, you can definitely tap into my Patreon for those that think I'm lying. Let me make this very clear. I don't like to play with y'all, but I like to give you what you want. This, this is part one of the interview. It's green. Part one is green. Part two is yellow, which means y'all won't get that no time soon. Everything else is green, but we've been having to wait to get it green because it's yellow. So I don't lie. You get what I'm saying? Especially when it comes to taking care of y'all, not me. So if it's an option, you do not have to do it. But if you want to, the link is in a pinned comment. Let me know what y'all think and love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.